Hey everybody, welcome to Buratech. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about whether you should use the Unity or Unreal Engine in 2019. All right, so as I said, we're gonna be talking about Unity and Unreal, and if you, as a beginner, should be using any of these two engines. But before we start, please be sure to like and subscribe, and if you really like this video, please share it. Today's featured course is Hello Coding. Get 170 hours of content for a discounted price below. Instead of a Patreon, we sell our courses and other products down below. And remember that every single dollar that you get down below goes into making more content. All right, so I've been a game developer for many, many years, and I actually started using Unity Unreal more than 10 years ago. The engines have changed quite a bit, and the discussion around these engines has also changed quite dramatically. The question I want to answer today is whether you should start with Unity or Unreal as a beginner. Now, both these engines are amazing. It's like comparing two top-end performance sports cars. They're both going to be great, but one might be better than the other depending on your needs. But you've come to this video for more of an analysis and explanation, and I'm gonna talk about that in this video. So the first thing we need to take a look at is the coding. Now, everyone should learn to code, but Unreal has Blueprints, which is the node-based logic editor. This means that you can make Unity games without coding. Unity has had this Blueprint system for a while in their ecosystem. I still remember using Kismet, which is the Blueprint's predecessor. Blueprints are really good, really easy to use, and now there's not really a loss of performance for using them. In the past, there was a loss of performance for using Kismet, but now there is no loss of performance, meaning that you can, in theory, make a really awesome game without coding. Now, I've used the Blueprint system for a while, and I think it's really awesome. However, if you want to make a really, really awesome game, then you need to use C++, which is what Unreal uses. Now, C++ is a very standard programming language when it comes to games. In fact, a lot of the games that you cherish in your child were probably programmed in C++. However, C++ is an older language, and as a result, a lot of things in C++ are hard to use by modern standards. However, C++ is a great language to use and is incredibly versatile. So if you want to make a game with Unreal, you can start with Blueprints, and it will make development easier. However, once you get to the C++ coding, the learning curve really starts to accelerate. Unity, on the other hand, just implemented a node-based editor. Unity code is mostly written in C Sharp, which is really easy to understand. It is way easier to use than C++. If you don't want to keep track of things like pointers or memory management, then C Sharp is great for you. C Sharp is a great language. In fact, I made an Xbox 360 game way back in 2010 using it. So the reality of this is, is that Unity has a great node-based editor. However, C Sharp is really where you make most of your logic for your game. Remember, if you use one of these engines, it's a process and not just writing code. You have to use the editor. And picking the editor and having an efficient editor will be dramatic in terms of what kind of quality product you can produce. So if you want to produce an indie project at home, you have to be very cognizant of your time. The more time you waste, the greater chance your project will never see the light of day. Remember, you want to make the best quality game in the least amount of time. This is known as efficiency. And efficiency isn't just making things faster and better. It can also be making your project less frustrating. Coding is inherently frustrating, and you want to pick an engine that dials down this frustration as much as humanly possible. So let's take a look at the differences between Unity and Unreal in terms of the editor. In Unity, the editor is really simple and really easy to use. In contrast, Unreal has a lot of information in the editor and it can overwhelm beginners. This brings us to a philosophical difference between the editors. Unity is supposed to be simple and easy to use, but more work needs to be done to customize your game. Unreal, on the other hand, has a lot of built-in functionality already, meaning that you can get a simple game up and ready quicker, but customization will be more challenging. Now this is the point of the video where I give you my opinion on which editor you should choose. Personally, I think as a beginner in 2019, Unreal is the better choice just because it's easier to get a game up and out the door. Having said that, Unity is still really good, but if you have to pick one, I would pick Unreal. Because Unreal has so much built-in functionality, I suggest making a game around what's easy to do in Unreal. Now, it doesn't matter what engine you're using, but sometimes things are harder to do in some engines and easier to do in others. 
I would recommend making a game in an engine with things that are easy to do in that engine. If you can't do something, then don't. This is contrary to a lot of advice you might receive in college or school. However, in business, you wanna take the path of least resistance to success. Like I've said, programming and game development is inherently difficult, so I recommend making a game as quickly as possible and making it as easy for you as possible. I have so many failed games on my hard drive and in my cloud storage that I don't want this to happen to you. Now, Apple has a similar philosophy. It makes certain things easier to do in their system and other things really hard. However, they put extra time to tailor the experience for most users. Sure, you could do something that Apple doesn't want to do, but why do you need to do it? Again, this is a matter of opinion, but making games in Unreal seems a little easier than Unity, at least right now. Now, the last thing you have to consider between Unity and Unreal is the graphics. Unreal has always had the better graphics, but over the years, Unity has really caught up and closed the gap. I still think the graphics look a bit better on Unreal, but the gap, for the most part, has been closed. So if you are a beginner, don't worry about making really highly graphic games. The reason is, is that it's really hard to do this. You should be focusing on making a good and enjoyable game first and learning the engine. Graphics come later. Also, you have to remember that good graphics takes a ton of man hours. It can take a thousand hours to do one character. Furthermore, it can take a team of people just to do one character. All right, so that concludes this video. If you like Unity or Unreal, please comment below. I would love to hear your opinion. Again, today's featured course is Hello Coding. Get 170 hours of content for a discounted price below. Remember that every single dollar that we get from the courses that you buy below goes into making more content. If you really like Mammoth Interactive, we have a monthly subscription where you get over 1,100 hours of content. And you can subscribe yearly or you can get lifetime access. All the links are down below. If you really want to help Mammoth Interactive, the subscriptions are the best way to do it. Please be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in another video.